Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Skirmish. Well, Skirmish would have to take a very, very long lesson from you before meeting your parents. You tell him a lot that he has to be well-mannered. And at the very least act like he doesn't hurt a lot of people. And though he has been slowly trying to reduce the amount of times he does that, and the intimidating aura that he just gives off sometimes, he will try even harder for you. And when you go and meet your parents, they are pleasantly surprised by him. After all, Skirmish has a lot of knowledge. He's strong. And most importantly, his head over heels for you, willing to give you all the treasures of the world. And though you're quite nervous about him ruining things, he bites back a lot on his sarcasm and tries very hard not to say something that may be rude to them. He cares about this relationship and does not want you leaving him or your parents not liking him at all. He knows how bad that could be. So, he is careful, worry not. Venti. Venti is an archon, literally. So, if they knew his reality, they would probably love that, or be terrified of it. Regardless of which they would be, it's not that they will know, because they won't. So, seeing him as a bard who may be occasionally lazy and drinks a lot of wine, that's not the greatest picture, but Venti knows just how to get along with people. He jokes a lot with your parents, and although they may seem a little bit not really into it at first, eventually, after a couple glasses of wine, things loosened up, as Venti had wanted, and they got along just fine. If you don't know how he keeps getting away with this, but if he knows what to do, then you don't mind. You trust him. And you don't care if they know too much about him, or too little. All you want is their approval, and no troubles from them. And Venti was there to guarantee that. No matter how messy he may seem, he's careful, and he will figure out the way to get them to like him. No matter how difficult and hard and awful things may seem at first, he's going to stick through this with you. Shall. Shall is a literal angel. And the Aksha. So, of course, your parents are the ones who are nervous. Well, he is nervous as well, but once they hear you're bringing Shao, the conqueror of demons, into their home, they're bound to be shocked, of course, and panicked. They don't know if they're good enough for that, if he would like them. And he has a reputation. He's intimidating. And what if he gets mad at them? They're worried and they want to make him really happy with them. So, they make the best food. Although you inform them many times that he only eats almond tofu, they insist that if they make something good enough, maybe he would be willing to try. And surprisingly, he does. If only out of respect. And he likes some of the stuff that they cooked. So, it was quite evident that things were going just fine. And you are more than happy and relieved to know that. You are actually panicking and extremely worried about how things may turn out in the end. But seeing as they turned out to be just fine, you've got nothing to truly worry about. Tanari? Now, Tanari is really sweet. So if he was going to meet your parents, he might as well be very prepared. He will be wearing his finest clothes, and he will even make sweets and dessert for them. Deciding that he has to offer them something, and especially something made by him, since he didn't want to go into your home empty-handed. He told him many times that it was not that serious, but he insisted. Your parents already loved him from what they heard about him. And with him being the first watcher and all, his reputation preceded him. And... They were quite happy with it. There were all laughs and smiles when they saw him, until Nari got along with them well, considering how much he was so in love, and how they were so careful. 
to pick the right person for you, and how they only intended to know if he was going to love you truly, as you had said. They were quite sure of that then, when they met him, and saw the way he looks at you, the way he loves you so much. And they could clearly see that you had picked the right man for yourself. Albedo. Now, Albedo is a gentleman, through and through. He is a painter, so of course, as a gift, he would take a painting with him, one that he had made of some flowers. Of course, with his attention to detail, he picked flowers with meanings, meanings that, well, spoke of your love, and spoke of his determination. It was everything that they needed to know how dedicated he was to this, and how much of a feeler he was, how delicately he treated you. Truly, because he treated you like one of the flowers he painted. Delicate, fragile, and beautiful. Of course, he did not forget about how strong you are, but all he wanted was to take care of you and never have to make you use your strength or anything that was unnecessary in a bad way. He wanted you to be happy, and they could tell. He spoke of you like he spoke of the stars, like a poet talking about nature. And immediately, they had agreed to give you both their blessing. Sino. Oh, Sino did not need to meet your own parents. They needed to meet him. But with him being so well-mannered, he would of course go to their place. And he would even bow when meeting them, if only out of respect. But them? They were terrified, because they knew about him being the general Mamatara, And they never ever wanted to get on his bad side. And that's why, immediately... They agreed to give you their blessings. But Sino insists that they get to know him as a person, and that they be not afraid of him, just because he was a general Mahamatra. He wanted to show his effort, and to show them that he was willing to be a member of this family, and to deserve that place. Out of the respect for him, and the way they could like him, not because they just feared him, and after telling a couple of his bad jokes, things loosened up, and they did like him in the end. <laughs>